Okay guys, as promised, I'm going to do a video that shows you how to uh, make Touch OSC iPad MIDI controller. I'm going to show you how to design this and uh, where to get the apps and the editors and how to program this thing. So I'm going to switch over to my computer now and we'll go from there. All right, we're going to go to the App Store and we're going to put in the search Touch OSC and you're going to see two of these come up. So the one we want is this one right here, Touch OSC Mark 1. It's $4.99. So go ahead and get that and install it on your iPad. Guys, what you need to do is open up your search engine and what we're going to do is put in touch osc editor download and once that comes up it's a little tricky to find go to this touch osc mark one and you'll see here it says touch osc editor so we're going to go ahead and click on that which is going to take us to this page and as you can see right here there's a link right here it says touch osc editor that's one you're going to click on and this shows the editor and then here is the download right here for Mac or Windows. So it's easiest to do it. I, I guess if you have an Android tablet, you'd use a Windows program. But if you're doing this on an iPad, you'd use Mac. And it, it works really good with the iPad and the Mac. So go ahead and download that. And you'll end up with a program that looks like this once you open it up. And this is the design that I had already done. Uh, this is what works good for me. And these are different buttons and sliders. Um, so let's just go ahead and make a new one. Let's start there, new. And okay. And the first thing it's gonna do is up here in the corner, it says, are you on an iPhone, an iPad, whatever, iPad Pro. Uh, so I just have a standard iPad that I'm using this on. It was the old one I had laying around. So I'm going to go ahead and click iPad. Um, and you can change the orientation. Uh, I prefer horizontal. And then what you do is right click in here. And this is all the different selections that you can make. Push button, toggle on and off, uh, faders. So let's just go ahead with uh, 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 make some faders. Uh, if, if you don't like what you just did there, hit delete and it'll disappear. Now right click again and we'll go fader. And it's funny, it says fader horizontal, but this is really vertical. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this one in here. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll make it a little bit bigger, a little bit wider. And what we're going to do is... I want, uh, let's do four of these. So I'm gonna right click in here and I'm gonna go copy. And I'll go up here to paste. It's kind of a weird way to do this, but there you go. And I'll paste again. And there's the next one. And then paste again. And oops. And drag that over. So now I got four of them. And if you wanted to, you could change the color of each one. Right now they're on red, but here's the colors. If you want to change it to green, you change it to green. Uh, but we're just going to leave them in red for right now. So the other thing is, is to get these so that they're all, yeah, look uni uniform, whatever. Uh, if you click on, on this, and you'll notice that that one, uh, as I move this up and down and left and right, my X, Y coordinates are going to move. So this one is at 274 so if I take this one and oops oh that's X Y uh, you know with that one this was at 225 so there we're at 226 the Y and we'll move that to 226 and move this one over a little bit and it's at 226 already I'm gonna move this one over so it looks about so you get the idea you can kind of make those perfect however you want to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take uh what else do i want let's do an all start stop button right so let's do a right click uh, 
and that's going to be a toggle on or off right so here's a button and you can you can drag it make it any size you you wish um, so what you're going to do is to label these you can do label and I'm going to go like that there's a label so over here you want to type what you want uh, we'll do all stop slash start and you can change the size of the font so I don't know 20 sounds good so go ahead and take that and you will have to drag it open and then we can put it up in there if it all doesn't fit we can make the box a little bigger or you can stack the font so for right now okay now I notice you see this right here that is because the backgrounds on so unclick that and it'll be transparent you won't see anything and again we can change that too we can change the color of that we'll just throw green in there alright so and then we can do the same thing for these we can go um, let's go ahead and we'll make this one say get rid of that background again and this will be uh, track one and we'll take it up 20 all right so there we go and there's track one let's make that uh, I don't know how about yellow all right I'm gonna go track one so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do this copy and uh, oops and I'm going to go paste all right drag this one over here and then I go up here paste again and I'm going to drag this over here it's like this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to go over here backspace and make this a two and then I'm going to go over to this one and I'm going to make this backspace. Oh, I'm going to make that a three. All right. And then, uh, how about we do, uh, let's make a label. Label, do I want a vertical? Uh, yeah, let's try this and we'll go with, we're going to say Mike. Mike one. Oops. M. Oops. M I C. What's going on here? M I C. Mike one. And we did twenty two. And we'll take that over here. And. Notice again when we do it, we see this, that means the outline's on. So we're going to click on that again, get rid of that. Or I mean, I'm sorry, the background's on. We'll get rid of that. Now it's transparent. And let's change that to green. It's for something different. All right. So then um, now you can use anything in here. Um, we can use faders. We can use rotaries. If you want a rotary in here, as you can see, you got a rotary. So we can make that. Uh, you know for volume control or how, whatever you decide you just the sky's the limit on this thing uh, I kind of like faders so I'm gonna make another fader here and let's just do kind of what we did up here I just want to do a couple of these things here just to, so you get the idea how to how to how to do this so this fader let's just make that a blue one blue one and we're going to call this one let's make a right click again and we're going to make a, a label and we're going to call this master volume and we'll make that about I don't know 30 sounds good and we'll make it blue and so we have to open it up so we can see it and sometimes it has to come down like this and again I'm going to get rid of the background because I don't want to see that up there so then that goes there right so if you notice this says page one 
right? So this is page one. If you go to label here and you type text here, you could go boss RC-600 and we could make that what color let's go with uh, uh i like green and we'll go with uh so you see it coming up at the top up here we've just labeled the page all right so now we've got all start stop track one track two these are levels um and um when we're in this uh state you can make this centered so that the you start in the middle with this or you can have it at the bottom doesn't matter as long as you you click in there so that that's how you kind of put those these sliders you can start in the middle or you can uh, you know keep them at the bottom so for our track levels and mics let's just go ahead and make them center uh, Again, you can do whatever you want, and you can put any type of things in here. So, let's just say for right now, uh, I could put track one, two, three, start, stop. We could do that too, but just for purposes, you pretty much got it. You can put anything anywhere you want. Um, so what I would suggest at this point is that you take a piece of paper and you draw this. Uh, draw this on the on a piece of paper and what you're going to do is maybe start from all stop and start right here and we're going to say in this box we're going to put number one we're going to put number two up here number three four five and six because that's going to be our midi cc channels all right so Write that down on a piece of paper because what happens is, is uh, you know, I started this, I put this in, then I added that, then I added this, and I ended up with, I think, 15 assigns or something like that on that that one. And, uh, you know, I had to keep track of which one goes where. So let's just start up here with uh, all start stop. So click up here in the box. And what we're going to do is go up here to MIDI. And we're going to go to touch. And we have to enable it with that check. All right, we're going to stay with control change. See, it has all these different things you can you can put, but we want control change. We're always going to leave it on channel one, and this is our range for MIDI. This means it goes all the way to zero, or it goes all the way the other way. Zero to 127 basically means on or off. All right, so we're going to make this MIDI channel one. All right. So, so that's where we're at right now. So then we're going to go up to the master volume. And we're going to go to MIDI again. And this we're going to leave as a value because it's a slider. We're doing a control change. And this time it's going to be MIDI number two. All right. And then we're going to go down to this one. And we're going to go to value. We're going to leave it at value. And we're going to go, this is going to be MIDI number three. And here we go to this one. Value, MIDI number four, right? And MIDI number five. Well, it's not MIDI number, but I, I like to leave it talk like that because that's what that's talking about. That's MIDI channel. Uh, and then value again, and we're going to go to 6. All right. So at this point, we have just programmed this board. And we're going to go up here to Save As. And we're going to... Let's, I'm, I'm just going to put this as test one, and I'm going to save it. So now at this point, I have to, I'm going to switch to my camera here and show you how this is done on the iPad. All right, so now that we're on the iPad, what we're going to do is open up our OSC. We're going to come up to here, and if you notice, it says layout. Layout right here. So I'm going to go ahead and push on layout. 
and all these layouts come up here these are these are already made that you can go ahead and use if you'd like but what we're going to do is we're going to go up in our editor and we are going to click on sync all right now the computer and the ipad have to be on the same network this screen's going to open up all right and at that point we go over to the ipad we click add and notice your computer comes up just click on that and what it did was it just downloaded my test one so here is test one right here i'm going to click on test one i'm going to come up here to done and by golly there is our our, our midi layout that we just created on our ipad so we're going to go back up here hit stop sync and at this point we're ready to go program this on the boss rc600 so let's go do that